My name is Luke, and you are tuned in to Saxton News. And my name is Alejandro. We represent Saxton's Rock and Robotics team number 6897. Today, we will be investigating local flooding in the Patrick area. But first, we go to Frank in the field. Frank? Yes, Luke, I am here by the Great South Bay in Patra. We have revealed that a number of factors that contribute to flooding, including the accumulation of rainwater on saturated ground and most common when the bays or rivers overflow their banks. There are many negative effects on flooding. Maddie? Frank, you're right. As you can see, there are many problems associated with flooding. Flooding can cause a decrease in the nutrient levels in soil, called slantition. Flooding can back up sewer systems damage or destroy housing, result in the loss of animals, and of course, human life. Beaches can decrease in size, schools are forced to be closed, there are shortages of gas, and often a lack of supplies causes chaos. Back to you, Alejandro. We have live footage of a home on the Great South Bay being flooded by Superstorm Sandy and an interview with Steve, the homeowner. Sam? Thank you, Alejandro. Let's look at the footage of Steve's home the morning after Superstorm Sandy hit. Here are some video clips from our interview with Steve at his home in Patchogue. Saxon Robotics team. We're here interviewing Steve. Um, so the first question is, what went through your mind when you first saw the water flooding your house? What went through my mind? Uh, I thought that the house was moved off the foundation because of the height of the waves that I was seeing the next day. So that was the first thing I thought. How high did the water, uh, did the flood water rise? Um, Inside the house was one foot. One foot? Did you ever uh, fully recover from the flood? Mentally? No. <laughs> Physically, as far as the house is concerned, yes. Back to normal. But mentally, now I'm a little uh, afraid of the water. Thank you, Sim. Now to Sean and Ethan to describe one solution to the problem of flooding. We have invented a warning device that will alarm homeowners in the event of a flood. We call it Poseidon. Poseidon sounds an alarm before water levels become dangerously high. Not only does an alarm sound, but lights will flash in the home, giving an additional warning. Poseidon will allow homeowners to take necessary actions, including the immediate evacuation of family members and pets. Back to you, Luke. Thank you, Sean and Ethan. For more information on Poseidon or flooding in general, visit www.padmedschools.saxton.org. For Luke and the rest of the Saxton Robotics team, enjoy the rest of your day.